What makes a stereo image? Ooh, that's a juicy question. It comes to us from Gene in Houston, Texas. Gene writes, Paul, what makes a system image well? Obviously, it's many things, but in order of importance, is it the room or arrival times from the drivers to the listener's ear? And without time alignment done for each driver, how can, it, how can you get it right? My old IRS betas, which are great speakers we talked about a few days ago, just seem to have been better at delivering a more clear image in most tracks and seem to do this without much fuss. Thanks for your thoughts, Gene. Well... That's a really good question. And I would say, as we talked a little bit earlier, the biggest differences in imaging are the speakers and the setup. So I think Chris covered, and you can look in these video series, Chris covered time alignment and how it really isn't, passive time alignment doesn't really work. So I know it's a good story that uh, some, you know, the guys with the slanted baffles and all that, I, I know that's a good story, but it's really not relevant to what you're talking about. So if we look at Infinity products, especially like your IRS betas, those were dipoles. Now that kind of speaker, a dipole, has sound coming out the front and the back, and the f sound out of the back is out of phase with the sound in the front. There are products like the old Mirage speakers, which were called bipoles. And bipoles have sound coming out front and rear, but they are in phase, moving like that. And, and that sort of works. Our new speakers, the FR30, would be the first one that comes out that Chris Brunhaber is designing for us, that I'm super excited about because it sounds killer, has a tweeter in the back and a tweeter in the front. The tweeter in the back is a dipole in that it's out of phase with the tweeter in the front. But to your question, so the IRS betas that you had were dipoles and everything except for the base was in phase, out of phase, and it required you to pull those out into the room. Remember that? There's no way you could put the IRS betas up against a wall. I mean, for one thing, it's four columns, right? So you got these big base towers and then you got the wings so you had no choice but to have those wings like three or four feet into the room maybe 10 feet or a third of the way in is the way they recommended it so whether you knew it or not you were doing the right thing to create an image to have an image we need room for that image to exist so you got to be able to take the speakers and pull them away from the rear wall now how much well there's a whole bunch of thoughts on that. Um, as I've mentioned several times, I'm in the middle of writing the audio files guide, which will be um, a book that will tell you exactly how to place it, how to get that image that you're looking for. So do, do keep your eye open for the audio files guide because that'll have a step by, I'm getting eaten alive here by a, what is this? It's a grape. Worst tasting grapes. This, they make like Welch's grape juice, which I, sincerely dislike and um, that's the kind of uh, so this is a welch's grape grape juice plant anyway um yeah it uh, uh in, in this audiophiles guide i will show you with whatever speakers you have today how to pull them away how to put them in the right place how to seat uh, get seated in the right area and get that imaging so it's speakers and setup but mostly setup so has nothing really to do with the rest of all of this, the arrival time and all that. We, we can get all that straight with your speakers as long as they're reasonable. It's the setup, and that's why I know so few people out there that actually get how to do that. That's why I wrote the book. Okay, so shameless plug over. I'll tell you when it's ready. You can grab this book. You can go step by step. It's not hard. And in one day, I'll have your speakers imaging beautifully. So I'll let you know. Okay. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.